Mockingjay, Revolution a la You say you want a revolution, well, you know. Okay, yeah, we all want to change the world, and I don't sing. Anyway, so maybe the Beatles said it best. But when things aren't to our liking, a revolution is sometimes in order. In Suzanne Collins' Hunger Games trilogy, the people of Panem have gotten sick and tired of being treated like garbage. They don't like having to sacrifice their children to the Hunger Games, and they certainly don't like the capital forcing them into poverty. So, they organize and attempt to overthrow the government. For the face of their rebellion, they choose Katniss Everdeen, co-winner of the last Hunger Games. Because of her defiance to the capital, she now symbolizes Panem's mounting frustration. But is this chain of events how a revolution begins here in the real world? How plausible is Panem's coup? Well, let's take a look at another revolution and compare. How did the gears of war get started in the American Revolution? So, pretty much everyone in the colonies was unhappy with the British. People would get together in small groups to express their dissatisfaction and organize revolts. However, they couldn't exactly send out chain emails to all their friends on Facebook. So all they could do was rebel on a smaller level. Their hope was that their actions would create a spark that would light a fire. And the courageous acts of a few colonists inspired the rest to fight. But things go down much differently in the Hunger Games trilogy. First thing, the whole revolution happens pretty much at once, rather than sporadically in different locations. Secondly, while they are just as much under the thumb of their government as the colonists, the citizens of Panem have a place called District 13 to prepare for battle. All in all, it is a much more organized plan than any other revolution in our world's history. So, have we concluded that Colin's depiction of revolution is unrealistic? Or is it a sign of the times? With the growth of technology, everything in the world is changing, and war is no exception. Today you can create a website promoting a cause, and before you know it, you have a million views. Even Egypt created a large number of pro-democracy protests that merely began as a Facebook page. Because the Hunger Games takes place in the future, the people of Panem have access to the same types of technology that we have. So this begs the question, is the uprising in Panem credible, or are you a cynic? Shmup amongst yourselves, and may the odds of arriving at a conclusion be ever in your favor. <laughs>